Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I'm going to be demoing and giving you my first impressions on Pat McGrath Labs collaboration with Bridgerton's collection. So if that sounds interesting to you, you want to see how I got this gorgeous eye look and these beautiful highlight and blush, then you should totally keep on watching. So I actually just got the collection today. I feel like it took absolutely forever to ship because I ordered it on the 26th because it did sell out within like a day. I ordered the entire collection. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the box. So they came in like these padded envelopes within the box, which I thought was very strange. I have ordered from Pat McGrath before. I've never had it come where it was like the box and then in a bubble envelope. But I open it up. These must be the two highlights, so we'll start off with that. So this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter in the shade Extreme Gold 002. So it's got the Bridgerton emblem on the front and it says Pat McGrath's collaboration with Bridgerton. And this is the very, very gold one right here. And I'm gonna have to just ruin that design. I'm going to insert a little video of the actual like highlighter close up. I'm looking at my viewfinder and I don't think it's picking up the design in the camera. So this is what the design looks like. But you can see by the design on why I don't want to swatch it because I don't want to ruin it. This highlighter retails for $60. And here is a nice swatch for you. So it's got like that gel to powder texture to it. And every time I feel that textured highlighter. It reminds me of the Fenty Diamond Bombs and I absolutely love those. So the next highlighter is the shade Iridescent Gold 002. So and I don't think I showed the packaging before on the other one but look how cute that is as well. All right just like before it's got the same emblem on the front. This is what this shade looks like. So it's more of a white gold. It has the exact same design, but I still wanna show you what it looks like up close. And of course, I'm gonna swatch this one as well, trying not to ruin the beautiful design. And this is what this one looks like. So that is gonna be both highlighters swatched. So this next bubble envelope must be the blush palette and the actual eyeshadow palette. So let's go ahead and start off with the blush palette. So this is what the packaging looks like on this one. And inside the blush palette, there's gonna be two blushes and actually another highlighter. So not that I need another highlighter, but here we are. Oh, okay, so this one has got the cardboard packaging. Definitely not my favorite type of packaging to have like my most, <laughs> like to me, I'm like, okay, Pat McGrath, like it should all be kind of like that nice harder case, but no, this one's going to be cardboard. And these are what the blushes look like. So very similar to like the blush divine trios that she came out with, I think in the fall. Or maybe it was right before the holidays. I can't quite remember. So the retail price for the blush palette is $55. I'm gonna start off by swatching the two blushes and then the highlighter. So the first blush is gonna be the more pinky toned one and is it going to be in the shade Cherish. So it's definitely a rosier pink. And these blushes have a little sheen to them, so they're not fully matte, but it's more like that sheen that's gonna give you that like skin-like finish opposed to just a straight matte finish, which is something that I prefer to have over just a plain matte finish. This next shade is Nivette, and I don't know if I said that correctly, so I'll definitely be putting it down here. And that one is a much paler pink. I don't know if you can see it, just because it is is quite light. Then finally, we have the highlighter in Venus Nectar. And that would be the highlighter. So it's a pinky toned highlighter. So it's a completely different shade from the two individual highlighters. And it's definitely not the same formula. So this one's just a powdery formula. The other one is like that gel to powder finish. Definitely more in your face highlighter. And this one's more of just like a little glow. And finally, we have the eyeshadow palette. So this is what the packaging on this one looks like. So they're all basically in the same packaging. This is also going to be in a cardboard packaging situation. Here is the front of the palette. And then inside 
are the six shades. You get one matte, two of those satin matte finishes, and then you've got, you've got a metallic, a shimmer, and then one of her like duochrome gel-like finishes. So I own two Pat McGrath palettes before I bought this collection, and so like those are always my favorite ones because they're like the duochrome, like this really nice smooth finish. I have the Hutopian palette and then the Divine Rose 2 palette, I think that is. So those are the shades that I absolutely love in those palettes. So I have a feeling it'll be the same in this palette. I'm going to start off with the matte shade. And it's going to be the Plum Regala shade. Oh my god, I cannot speak today. So this is just like a deep purpley mauve shade. And then for the satin mattes, we got the shade Art of Swoon is a little difficult to pick up on my skin but it actually reminds me of like the blush shade and then the second satin matte shade is love match so it's a little darker rosier shimmer matte right there the next one is going to be a shimmer shade in the shade iconic in julia i cannot say it but i'll put it down here and then we have the shade duchess divine Oh, and that is just a gorgeous shade right there. Definitely a nice shine. Then finally, we got the shade Regency Blue. Oh, see, that's definitely going to be my favorite shade. It definitely reminds me of, like, Cinderella. So I can see why all the packaging was, like, that nice powder blue shade, because that's the shade I really like in this palette. But when I purchased this collection, I did the bundle where I bought it all, and so that went for $214. That was one of the first things that did sell out on the website. I did see that they are going to be restocking it. As of right now while I'm filming, they have not restocked it. So I have no idea. There's like no dates. Just a place to sign up via email to see when it does restock. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom y'all in so I can go ahead and do a nice soft glam look with this eyeshadow palette. All right, I think that's just close enough. I do like that the palette does have a mirror in it. It's definitely going to be easier to like travel with, even though I don't foresee myself ever traveling with a Pat McGrath palette because of scared that I, it will break. So I did already prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer, just because that's the primer I used to kind of clean up my brows, and I had a little excess left over, so that's what I used to prime my eyes today. I like this one as well. I just prefer my Suvia Beauty Prime and Paint Primer. Now, I do feel with six shades, there's only so much I'm going to be able to create with this palette, so it's going to be kind of simple today. And the first shade I'm going to be dipping into is going to be the Plum Regalia shade, just because it is the only matte in this shade. And I'm going to go ahead and start it on the outer corner of my eye and kind of bring it in to my crease. And I absolutely love doing looks like this with the brush I'm using. And this is the Scott Barnes 63, just because it's shaped like this. It's like a skinny brush, but it fans out. Man, I absolutely love this brush. And I've only had it for a month. Um, it was something I got for Christmas. Man, I absolutely love this brush. I don't know how I was able to do my eyes without it in the past. So, so far it's blending really nicely, just like any of her other palettes. It always makes me nervous when a brand does a collab like this, that the quality is not going to be as nice, especially when it pull, when you pull the palette out and it's a completely different style of packaging than what you're used to. So, like for example, Too Faced palettes, if they come in cardboard packaging, they fucking suck. Not going to lie. Like, I'm like, oh, that's a load of crap. And I didn't discover that until I think it was like maybe... 2016 when I bought like their winter collection I was like oh these are so cute and I like you know bought them all because I have a spending problem and they were just a load of crap I had a little bit of like a nervous anxious moment using these because I was like man if this sucks I'm just going to cry because I literally just paid the palette on its own is $65 paying $10 a shade and some change at this point and that's just a, that's a lot per shade especially when they're like tiny like in her other palettes I swear they're a little bit bigger off to compare later but I'm just gonna blend this out Ooh. a little much right there So of course, for $65, that blended out like a dream. 
um, you saw that there was a moment where there was like, oh shit, I should have dusted my brush off because it just all went all over my face. But I'm now going to be dipping into the shade Art of Spoon, and I'm gonna go ahead and carry that throughout the rest of my crease. So in the description, it says that it was like one matte and two sheen-like mattes. They're not sheen, they are shimmery. And then you cannot substitute it for a normal matte. It does not work. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use the first shade, the plum, fuck, I forgot the name of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish out down my crease all the way. So I'm gonna try that again because my memory card got full. Yay me. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Love Match and I'm gonna blend it in with the shade Plum Regalia. So I'm just gonna apply it right here. I don't know if it's my primer, but I'm having a hard time getting that shade to stick to my eyelid. So, try to press a little bit harder maybe. It's not wanting to blend with the shade Plum Regalia. Let me try it this way. Take that shade and go on top of Love Match. There we go, now it's blending. There was just like a moment where my eyelid said no. I don't know. I'm gonna take the other sheeny matte shade, Art of Spoon, and I'm going to blend that in with Love Match. Okay, that is also not working. Yay me. So like, I'm like putting it, it's not coming up on, like it, the brush is barely picking anything up. Like, I don't know why, okay. And it's just turning into a muddy mess. So. Okay. So with what I already have, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease. Yes, how boring. So I can play around with the shade Ruggacy Blue, cause that is like the shade for me in that palette. So I don't know if my eyes are just not cooperating today, but we're having a moment and I'm not enjoying it. And it could be the primer. Forgot about that, it could be the primer. So I went ahead and cut the crease. I took it a little bit further than usual because I wasn't liking how the two shimmer mattes were blending together. It just wasn't something I was enjoying. So I'm gonna take the shade Regency Blue and use my finger and apply it in the middle of my eyelid. Ooh, look at that. That is an absolutely stunning, beautiful eyeshadow shade. To make sure that it's like nice and perfect on the line, so I have like this nice clean line where I cut the crease, I'm gonna use like a small detailing brush and apply it all the way up that line. And that blue is just gorgeous. In the inner corner, I'm going to take the shade Iconic Ingenue. I have no idea how to say that. Take that same detailing brush and kind of apply it in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna blend it in with the shade blue reg. Now I can't talk. With the blue with the pretty pretty blue shade. So it's not so harsh where the blue stops. I'm gonna go back in to the plum shade in the palette and just deepen out the outer corner here. Kind of erasing the makeup that I already put on. Like I said, they just weren't blending very well together, which is super frustrating.
I do like how the blue Regacy changes like <clears throat> I do like how the Regency blue shade does like change when you put it on top of another shade so like I applied the shade iconic can't say the word in the inner corner and then I blended it in with the blue and it just like transformed it and it's just absolutely stunning it's a little hard to tell on camera because it's in the smallest part of my eye and then I went ahead and blended together the plum shade with the blue shade you know and adding more blue adding more plum just so it gets a nice even blend and it looks a little bit more put together and it, it looks stunning on top of that shade as well so it's pretty impressive on how such a unusual colored shade is kind of going well with these other shades that I usually wouldn't pair a blue with a purple mauve. I just really wouldn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on my under eye next. And what I'm gonna do is this is where I'm gonna try those shimmer mattes just one more time. I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in with the shade Love Match, which is that's gonna be that darker shade. And I'm just going to blend it under my eye. This is another brush that's kind of changed the way I apply makeup. It's another Scott Barnes brush. This is the Scott Barnes 61 and it's like a fan brush for your eyes. So it's like super skinny but super tiny little fan brush and I absolutely love it to apply makeup under my eye. I'm gonna now dip into the shade Art of Spoon and blend that with Love Match as I get closer to the inner corner. So I definitely love how they applied in the inner corner a lot better than they did earlier on my eyelid. So I'm starting to think it was the primer. And of course, like I'm not gonna go through and start this all over, but I will continue to use this palette and definitely the next time I pick up this palette, I will definitely, definitely not be using the ABH primer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and step off camera and I'm gonna do the other eye, add some lashes, add a winged liner because God forbid I do something without a winged liner and I'll be right back. So I've got my eyes fully completed. Um, I added a little bit of lipstick and I put on About Faces. Man, I wore this one last time and I can't even pronounce it. Psychorchery, I can't say it, but I will put it down in the description below, but this is like this really nice, like bright, but yet soft pink. Let's go ahead and move on to the blush. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade Cherish. So this is going to be the more brighter pink one here. And of course, I'm just going to put it where blush goes. This is definitely a softer blush, but I kind of figured it would be because it is the Bridgerton collection. I'm more of a, more, what's the word? Like I like a more bolder blush. So this one's definitely if you're going for a nice soft glam look, which is kind of what we're going for. This is, this is like a perfect shade. So it blends out beautifully. It's actually very quick. Sometimes when I use blush, it takes a little bit longer if it's a punchier color. All right. Okay, I'm definitely like digging this blush, this little bit more softer look opposed to a bold look. Time to move on to the highlighter. Actually, before I close that blush shade up, I'm actually gonna use the highlighter in this palette as a highlight for my inner corner. Just because I'm gonna use the more gel highlight for my face. Oh, that is such a beautiful color. It would definitely make a beautiful blush, like a beautiful blush. It definitely make a beautiful highlighter as well. But since the other ones are right here, I would definitely rather try out the more gel and shimmery ones. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade, which one is this? This is going to be the more platinum gold one right here. And I am, ooh, I don't know if I should use a brush for my fingers. No, I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush. So I'm just going to apply it where you apply highlighter. Oh yes, that definitely just like completes the look. Now it is a little bit glittery. I know some people hate the little glittery blushes. I kind of like this one because it's kind of got that wet look as well. 
it's definitely a blush I see my it's definitely a highlighter I see myself gravitating and using quite often it is one of my favorite formulas for highlighters is like the gel like ones let's go ahead and talk about this collection so I really love the highlighters which I already kind of knew I was going to so that's why I got both shades especially since I couldn't get the shade of the gel highlighter that was dropped right before Christmas time. It's still sold out on Pat McGrath's website. It's still sold out at Sephora, so I'm just like patiently waiting because the only other option is Macari, and people are selling it for like $95. I'm like, it says it'll restock, so I can just wait. But it's the same with this collection. It's completely sold out, and people are selling it on Macari for an absurd amount of money. Just wait. Do not give that person the satisfaction of paying $120 for these palettes because that's what they're going for. But of course, I love the highlighters. It's my favorite type of formula, so I, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. Um, I like the blush. I'm definitely gonna be using it on more of my softer days, just because I tend to gravitate more of those hot pinks or hot orange blushes, but it looks so beautiful on the skin that it just makes me wanna wear even more. I might even try to build it up and see if I can get make it a little bit more punchy. And finally, I am slightly disappointed with this palette. And I say that because the fact that there really is only one matte and they have like two sheen-like mattes and to me they're too sheeny. It, there's too much shimmer in them to use them where you would use a matte. You don't put a shimmery shade in your crease because one, it, it makes it look all crinkly. Um, so I'm slightly disappointed by it. I could not get these two shades to blend even with this shade. I'm like... Oh no, but I'm gonna give it another shot because I have a feeling it's actually my primer. So don't hold me to the fact that I'm disappointed about the palette. I'm, my opinion might change two weeks from now. I usually use the Subia Beauty Prime and Paint eye primer or eyeshadow base. And today when I was doing my eyebrows, I had excess product excess product on my little palette here. And so I went ahead and just continued to use it to prime my eyes because I've used it in the past as an eyeshadow primer and haven't had any really, really big issues with it. But then again, when I was using it regularly as an eyeshadow primer, it was before I purchased this. And now this is just like my go-to grab all the time. If you would like to see my final thoughts on this palette, go ahead and subscribe for when I post my January updates. And if you like this video, go ahead and like. Uh, but until next time, bye y'all. In a bubble mailer, I cannot say a bubble mailer. I cannot say it. In a bubble mail. Whew, and I've not come in like the bubble envelopes. That's how we're gonna say it.